dear students in this class we are going to see the history of medicinal chemistry there is a long history of the plants being used to, to treat various diseases we are getting the oldest records from the civilizations of chinese hindus mayans greek and romans about the use of medicinal plants shen nu was an emperor who compiled the pharmacopoeia that is including chang cheng that is an anti malarial alkaloid and ma hu from that ephedrine was isolated Chalmurga fruit that was known to the indigenous American Indians and ipecacuanha root that is having emetin was used in the basil for the treatment of dysentery and is still used for the treatment of amebiasis. The early explorers found that the South American Indians used coca leaves that is having cocaine and mushrooms that is having methylated streptomins as hallucinogens. In ancient Greek apothecary shops herbs like opium squill hyoscyamus etc and metallic drugs like copper zinc ores iron sulfates could be found so the basic studies of chemistry and physics shifted from greco roman to arabian alchemists between the centuries 13th to 16th paracelsus who glorified the antimony and the salts in elixirs as cure ails in the belief that chemicals could cure diseases the 19th century had seen a great expansion in the knowledge of chemistry that greatly extended the already established herbal pharmacopoeia after anton lavoisier the european chemist refined and extended the techniques of chemical analysis that is the synthesis of acetic acid by adolf kohl in 1845 synthesis of methane by pierre berthelot in 1856 set the stage for organic chemistry after that the pharmacognosy was replaced by the physiological chemistry the isolation of morphine by Friedrich Sterner in 1803 the isolation of emetin from ipecacuanha by Pierre Joche Pelletier in 1816 and his purification of kefin quinin colchicin in 1820 all contributed to the increased use of pure substances as therapeutic agents late 18th or early 19th century may be viewed as the birth period of modern medicinal chemistry with the introduction of side chain theory of drug action in 1885 by ehrlich who was a berlin immunologist who coined the term chemotherapy according to this according to his it was defined as the chemical entities exhibiting selective toxicities against a particular infectious agent at the beginning of the 19th century the development of modern organic chemistry and medicinal chemistry focused on finding active ingredients present in medicinal plants and certain animals so the isolation of pure substances from plants namely morphine quinine atropine emetin kefin colchicin etc from crude medicinal plant extracts contributed to the increased use of pure substances as therapeutic agents in 19th century the digitalis that was used by the english physician and botanist william withering for the treatment of edema albert neman In 1860, he isolated cocaine, and in 1864, he isolated cytostigmine from calabarbine. As a result of these discoveries and the progress made in organic chemistry, the pharmaceutical industry came into being at the end of 19th century. The synthetic chemotherapeutic agents are used for the treatment of protozoal and spirochetal diseases. Gerard Doma, who reported. the red dye stuff that is prontosil otherwise called 2,4 diamino azobenzene 4 sulfonamide that inhibited the rapid reproduction of pathogenic bacteria this increased the interest in synthetic chemicals this dramatically cured dangerous systemic uh, gram positive bacterial infections in man and animals the observation by woods and files in 1940 that the bacteriostatic action of sulfonamide like drugs they antagonized to para that is para amino benzoic acid is one of the early example in which balance of stimulatory and inhibitory properties depends on the structural analogs of chemicals that together with the discovery of penicillin 
that is by Alexander Fleming in 1929 and the examination of this by Howard Florey and Ernest Chain in 1941 led to a water soluble powder of this drug that is having higher antibacterial activity and a lower toxicity. So, with the discovery of variety of highly potent anti-infective agents, a significant change was introduced into medicinal practice. So, this period is called the golden age of antibiotics. The easy bioassays for antibacterial and antifungal activity led to the isolation of number of antibiotics including streptomycin in 1944, chloramphenicol in 1949 and tetracyclines. The mid 20th century saw the development of synthetic vitamins, hormones like thyroxin, oxytocin, corticosteroids, anticonvulsants, psychotropics, antihistamines and new vaccines. Illness such as tuberculosis, diphtheria, pneumonia could be treated and cured for the first time in human history. The structures of the steroid hormones were established in the year 1930s and 1940s. The discovery of the cortisone as anti-inflammatory agent in 1949 motivated the synthesis of number of anti-inflammatory semi-synthetic steroids like prednisolone, beta-methasone, triamcinolone, ethinylestradiol and progesterones. Problems associated with the separating anti-inflammatory activity from the mineralocorticoid activity of cortical steroids led to the interest in the development of NSAADs. Major innovations were made in cardiovascular drugs starting with antihypertensive and beta blockers in 1960 followed by the calcium channel blockers, AZ inhibitors and cholesterol reducing agents. The 19th century saw some new drugs like azathioprine that was the first immunosuppressive agent that was introduced by Gertrude Ileon and George Hitchings in 1988. They are the Nobel laureates of that year. Allopurinol for gout, azyclovir that is the first useful antiviral agent against herpes and other DNA viruses. The early 20th century also proposed that the drugs may give therapeutic and pharmacological actions on target organs called receptors. That turned out a new target in the field of drug research. The pharmacological characterization of receptors gave the basis for large number of benzodiazepines beta blockers, GABA, introduction of monoclonal antibodies which block receptors of growth on tumor cells. So the enhancement of instrumentation and introduction of powerful technology also facilitated laboratory automation and helps in the discovery and development of new drugs. This creates a pathway for rational drug design. The development of in vitro assays using animal tissues became an essential support tool for tracking SAR and allowing the chemist to optimize the structures before animal testing. In the mid 20th century, some advancements in drug design like intervention of charge transfer, induced fit theory of drug action, concepts of drug latentiation, pro-drug Concepts of isosterism and bioisosterism had, an, had a tremendous impact on the understanding of SARs of drugs. Application of mathematical methods to medicinal chemistry and transformation of SAR studies into KSAR by Hansch and others in 1960. Significant advancements in the discovery process were seen with the advances in molecular and cellular biology. This technology allowed in vitro optimization of lead molecules against a human version of receptors or enzyme and allowed a deeper analysis of their physiological nature. Simultaneous advances in analytical chemistry and molecular biology allowed the biological targets to be screened that had proven to be intractable before. In early 1990, the pharmaceutical industry was set for the first real version of high throughput screening. It is the highly automated robotic system that tests small amounts of large number of compounds against potential targets. In 1990, the combinatorial chemistry provides a large number of new chemical entities to be screened for biological activity through high throughput screening. That is the novel approach 
to chemical synthesis that enables the creation of large number of organic compounds by linking the chemical building blocks in all possible combinations both are having the same objective that is to provide a large numbers of new chemical entities to be screened for biological activity in vivo since the mid 1980s the geometrical aspects of molecular structures are also taken into account leading to the development of 3d qsas virtual screening of chemical libraries has emerged as a complementary approach to high throughput screening molecular graphics added a new dimension to computational chemistry and opened up the field of molecular modeling so with the help of molecular modeling it is possible to develop sophisticated molecular graphics for use in chemical design and computer aided drug discovery so in this new world medicinal chemists identify and optimize lead compounds for potency and also for avoiding potential side effects and on controlling in vivo admit properties so despite of many advances the therapeutic treasury is still lacking of drugs and there remains an increasing need for novel and innovative therapeutic agents medicinal chemistry continues to play a major role in drug discovery and development taking advantage of newer techniques and increased branches of related sciences that's all about the history of medicinal chemistry